Passing objects as arguments to methods, my name is Kayla Blint. Defining a method with an object as a parameter. When defining a method with a parameter, specify the data type of each parameter. In this case, the type of parameter is a rectangle. Rect can call all of the methods defined in the rectangle class. Calling a method and passing an object. When calling a method, put the name of the object within the parentheses. Main idea. When an object is passed to a method, the memory address is being passed, not the data stored in it. Declaring an object. Create an object of a rectangle class. To do this, state rectangle, which is the class name, r1, which is the object name, equals new, because this is a new object, rectangle, and pass to it 5, 7. R1 holds the memory address of the object. As you see in the diagram below, 0xA1B3 is a sample memory address for the object R1. The parameters passed to it are 5 and 7. Passing an object as a parameter. The address stored in the argument r1 is sent to the parameter rect. r1 is passed to the method display rectangle, which is written below. As you can see, display rectangle takes a rectangle object rect. Since r1 is being passed to rect, they are both storing the same address. Thus, both r1 and rect refer to the same rectangle object. When a method receives an object reference as an argument, it may modify the contents of the object. Below is depicted a diagram using set the method set rectangle, which is passed R1. The method set rectangle is illustrated below, showing that it accepts a rectangle object named rect. It then calls two methods set length and set width. Changes made to the object reference by rect will also update R1 because they have the same memory address. Passing primitive data types. Changing the parameter of a primitive data type will not change the argument. Below we see both the main method and a method show square. In the main method, the double variable side is set to 23. Show square. However, in show square, we create len variable being side times side or len by len. This does not update the value in side because side and len remain distinct memory addresses. Key points. It is useful to pass an object as an argument to a method because when doing so, you pass the memory address to the method instead of a copy of the value. This means that you can update the object in another location and it will apply to the method. When writing a method that receives an object as an argument, do not accidentally write code that modifies the 